is going on everyone welcome to another episode of the main gains podcast we have a very 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 special guest on today's episode and that is none other than yarmouth high school student and athlete aiden is it morton yeah aiden morton aiden say hi to the people how's it going guys so this is Aiden's first podcast experience, and he hasn't even listened to my podcast. I which was, I think there was one time where I've like just briefly looked at it, but no, I have not. That's okay. This can be your first real experience with it. So, Aiden, why don't you kind of give a background into who you are for people listening that don't know you? I am a high school student at Yarmouth that likes to play hockey. What grade? I am a junior and um uh <laughs> um have you always lived in Yarmouth? Yes, I've always lived in Yarmouth. Um I've I love working out. Uh I like to eat a lot of food. Um I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll prompt you. So Let's talk about hockey, since this is kind of like a sports weight room podcast. When did you start playing hockey? I started playing hockey when I was around two or three years old, and I've just loved it ever since. Um, well, who is your favorite team? Uh, the Capitals, Washington Capitals. Really? Yeah. Why? So, there's a little story about that, and I'll hold it. Um... My dad showed me a video of Alex Ovechkin when I was probably like four or five, and he scored like a really cool goal, and I was just like, I like that guy. So like, the, whenever Christmas was happening, I decided, oh, I I should get a Capitals hat, and I asked for that for Christmas, and then ever since then, I just stayed with the Capitals. Have you ever been to a game? Uh, I've been, yeah, I've been to a Boston versus Capitals game in Boston, and that was a a very huge experience for me, for who, sure. Who won? The Capitals. When did you go? Um, I think 2019 or 2018. Oh, was so only a few years ago. Yeah. How was the experience? It was very uh, loud because I feel like I've never been to a real, like, NHL game. I've gone to, like, minor league games, but I've never been to, like, an NHL game, and it's it's pretty loud. Did you get any autographs? No, I wish. I, w- I wish I could have gone down to put my hand out, but no. It was just like, I don't know. That's fine. Just, yeah. What position do you play in hockey? I play uh, center and right wing. I mostly try to play center, but, you know, this year I was moved around to right wing. So I just, I, maybe I still will stay with that, but I don't know. What's your favorite part about hockey? Hmm. Favorite part about hockey? Um, I don't really know. It's just like I really just enjoy how much it is like to play. It's not like an enjoyment in a way. It's kind of like it's something that I need to do. I don't know. It's just like I care about it, so it. I just do it. I don't know. Um, maybe skating fast i don't know something about like how fast i'm going i don't know i think something that's interesting because when you ask any type of athlete like why is you like why do you love your sport so much a lot of people revert to that answer of being like i don't know i just love it and i think i think there's usually this feeling at least for me where whenever you're playing you just kind of feel free Mm almost and you don't really think about everything and it's like all of the aspects of the game that you love just combined makes it why you love it more than another sport so like your ability to kind of glide down the ice very fast and then all of a sudden have to stop and try to hit someone but while you're trying not to get hit and then thinking about where the puck's going to go next do you have any aspirations after high school to play hockey well, I've had an idea of what I want to do, and that's play at least, like, D3. But I need to improve a lot more than I already have, not like, from last year. And that's kind of my main goal. But I think, like I said, I need to improve a lot, a lot more. And I'm willing to sacrifice a lot of things for that. 
So, I mean, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. What What are some of the things that you believe that you need to work on? Um, Probably understanding the ice, like knowing, reading the ice and when to be somewhere at the right time and getting faster. But mostly understanding the ice and knowing where things are going to be at the right time. How do you plan on achieving that like how do you plan on getting better so I talked to my uh one of my coaches and he told me that I should watch like hockey like just watch hockey games and I feel like that would make sense in a way but I mean I've also like even though I love hockey I've never really watched like just had for fun just go on tv and watch hockey I've always just like just wanted to play it, but I think watching hockey would probably maybe improve that because you could just see where things could be from a distance and not on the ice. But yeah, I think that's how I would improve it. Now that the season is done and we're going into spring, is there like have you looked into getting ice time anywhere or is there like <laughs> a men's league that you could join so you could keep playing and kind of implement whatever you see and learn from watching I've thought about doing the Cascade Mariners oh, yeah. thing for that's next or next month and I'm going to be trying out for that and um obviously I think that starts in like September or like the summer um Actually, during the summer, we're having Yarm. Yarm does like a little like summer league, so I'm probably going to be doing that. Maybe try out or not try out, but like do camps and stuff to make myself better and doing just working out. So yeah. Have you done the Mariners before? No, never. I mean, I've tried out last year, but all those kids that were there were pretty good, and I was still like 16, not even 17 yet. But I was, con- I guess, I was considered as a U18. So I didn't make the team. That's fine. Um, I think something like, especially a sport like hockey where it's so seasonal, it's tough to kind of either play it year round or find ways to keep practicing in the off season. Do you have rollerblades or like roller skates? I actually want to get rollerblades, um, like ones that were pretty good, because some of them that like from when I was younger were pretty bad but now since like the equipment's evolved i guess you could get new or like better ones and i am i'm trying to find some good ones or just like think you know like at the bottom of the blade it uh you can like unscrew stuff Mm -hmm. you can you can buy a different part so you can put it on your actual skate so like i'm thinking about taking my skates just unscrewing all the stuff at the bottom and then putting on like the roller blade things on and I, I might consider doing that just to like have for fun during like maybe an hour, just go out and just do that for a good hour. I think that's a great idea. Now, let's kind of transition into how do you handle being a student and an athlete? And do you ever have a hard time balancing both? Um,. I would say I do have a hard time balancing both, but um, hmm, I wouldn't know how to explain why, but I do think I find it very challenging to balance both. Well, let's also provide context that your team this winter had practices at, what, 6 a.m.? Uh, four, well... Five o'clock. Five. Your practice was at five a.m. So five to six, six thirty. Uh, five to seven, every morning that you didn't have a game. Yeah. That's early. Yeah. So we one can assume that probably trying to find a schedule where you're going to bed on time and getting your homework done that way you are awake enough yeah. for practice can be difficult. Right. Yeah, that was very difficult for me for sure, and especially before the even the season even started we there was three weeks of just straight five o'clock morning practices for three weeks straight before the season even started and everyone was willing to go every single day and I was 
willing as well. But there was a time where, like, I think the last week of the third week, there was, like, a... It was the whole, like, being sick thing. Everyone just got sick, and then he's like, we'll just take a break for, like, four days. And then we just... The season started, and we got right to it. So... What are some of the things that you struggle with trying to balance both and trying to be like focus on school, but also wanting to be uh, the best athlete you can be? I think school kind of interrupts that because when I'm at school, to be honest, I just think about hockey the entire time. So like, I think school definitely interrupts most of that because just going to sleep at a certain time and having to wake up and then like maybe I could have or like late night sometimes I would do extra homework but then I couldn't do that because I'd be very tired in the morning if I stayed up too late so I think school impacts that a lot looking forward I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you here how could you or what are some things that you could do to kind of combat that because i think it's funny how you say school gets in the way (laughs) when that kind of is the priority at your age but like thinking forward and even kind of giving some other kids who are listening who also struggle with that what do you what do you think that you can do next year or whatever or start doing in the fall to help prepare you so you're not kind of overwhelmed in the winter during your season um maybe focus on school during the day, trying to get my work done during the day, because I tend to usually, when school's happening, I school's over and then I go to the gym or something. I could stay after school and actually study for something or do my homework, but I don't really do that. So I just usually go to the gym, go home, and then go to sleep if it was morning practice. Continuing on this thought of school you are a junior so now like the looming question kind of is like what are you going to do after high school are you thinking about college do you want to go straight into the workforce but you already said that you would like to play at least d3 for hockey so do you even have an idea of like where you want to go what you want to do where you want to be uh honestly no clue where i want to go but I think if I if I see an improvement next year, next season, I will, I'm definitely going to try to, like, put myself out there as in, like, at, or, like, maybe ask colleges that are D3 if I can, like, try out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm I, that's what I'm kind of thinking about for next year. And like I said, if I think I've improved next year, I think that's what I'm going to do. Do you want to stay in New England or leave honestly i'd be fine if anyone would take me even if it's out of maine or new england i I wouldn't really care how far it is i would probably go do you know probably not what kind of major you want to no clue (laughs) (laughs) not i've I've had talks with my mom about like what if i went to college what would i do but there's nothing that really interests me except really playing hockey So I guess that's a really interesting point because I think, especially since I was in your shoes where it's like trying to play sports in college and then not really knowing what major I wanted and going in undecided, I guess, how do I word this? It's kind of like, what do you, obviously you enjoy hockey, would you be open to kind of trying to find a way to work within that world yeah i think i would definitely like you mean as in like work during like say i went to college played hockey but then i also i worked at the same time no no no. so like well i guess yo more so like okay let's fast forward way in the future hawk your college is done and like you're not playing competitive well i wouldn't say not competitively maybe you're still playing a rec league but like would you be open to maybe working in, like, an organization or in, like, sports management or something like that? That way you're still in and around sports, even though you might not be playing at, like, that high of a level? Um, I think maybe. I've definitely considered. My mom's even said, like, if you went to college, maybe you should do something that involves, like, 
sports she actually said i think this morning like something that's like sport medicine or something like that Mm -hmm. i don't know what that means but she's like you should look it up and look into it and i was like okay maybe but i still wasn't really sure so i mean after college if i went um maybe to an organization um i I don't know you don't need to know right now i mean you're so young and even when i was in school it wasn't until i was like a senior that i kind of knew what i wanted to do and then even after graduation i was still trying to figure it out and now at least i know for the foreseeable future like what i want to do but that could change at any point and i'm willing to kind of bob and weave and just go with the flow so i don't what else like what else makes aiden aiden other than hockey um i think my mom i think my mom also is i think my mom's one of uh an important person in my life that i think helped me have a personality i guess or like who i am today it's because of my mom so um do you guys get along yeah we get along very well we laugh a lot joke a lot it's she's kind of like a a best friend honestly like if i were to like tell I, i tell my mom like everything because like we we're very close so like um like if i if i were to tell someone something it would probably be my mom not not my friends i mean i would but i'd probably tell my mom first because she, I feel like in my in my life, my mom comes first before anything. So, I think she's created, like, a good thing for me. As in, like, um, I don't know. Like, I maybe she holds you accountable. Yeah. She has provided a, probably just, like, an environment where you do feel comfortable telling her anything, which is fantastic for her so kudos mom what's your mom's name jill Jill, you did a great job (laughs) so what what make what makes you happy man what what do you do when it's not hockey and you like if it's just hanging out with friends if it's going to do something else like what brings you joy in life i'd probably say uh being around family and drawing i'm actually i love drawing and I think I'm pretty good at it. I've always, my dad and my mom have been really good drawers. So I kind of picked that up just when I was younger. I just started drawing. I think when I'm in like a moment of my own free time, I like to just sit there, be calm and just draw, listen to music. And I think that's, I think that is something that kind of makes me happy because I can use drawings to express how I'm feeling. And it's, I feel like it's also an important thing for me because, you know, like some people with like mental health problems, they could like, they don't know what to do. And I feel like drawing is like a helpful thing for me in like a emotional way, you know? Yeah, that's incredible. I didn't know you drew. Yeah. You'll have to show me some of your stuff. I got you. Um, and I think it's good that you have another outlet other than fitness and sports because yeah. like you just said, like if you're battling any sort of like mental demon sometimes if we only have that one outlet it can be a destructive outlet so even though fitness can be healthy if that's your only way to cope with something and you're constantly working out then we're overtraining and then we're causing a whole other host of issues that's really cool uh well Aiden we're kind of nearing the end of our time here is there anything else you want to just talk about say to the people say to your future or past self i'm just gonna give you the mic and you can just say whatever you want um if you have a a dream in something i think you should definitely try to continue it and not ever give up on anything that's something i'm trying to work on right now with hockey and i think you should always believe in yourself and never give up do you do you always believe in yourself uh, not much, but I definitely try to have a positive mindset about things. And I mean, if I, like I said, if I maybe see improvements well, uh, within before the season starts, then maybe I'll believe in myself next season. Say 
you put in a lot of work and maybe you don't get the ex- like the improvements you want or like you do improve but it's not at the extent or level you want mm-hmm. would you still be proud of yourself um and don't just say yes just because you think that's what i want to hear like i just want you to be honest honestly probably not because i feel like I, I i feel like in a way i've always grown up and like you need to be like if you want something you're gonna want to get there so i feel like no i would not be happy and i think i would try to keep working as much as i can and even if like i didn't go like d3 for hockey but i still went to college i'm gonna still try and like see if i can still try out and get there even if like i didn't make the team i'm gonna keep working out and seeing if i can try out the next time so just because i kind of am still going through this and i want to make sure you guys understand and even those who are listening or watching even though sometimes you might not get the desired outcome we can be disappointed by that but i still want you to learn to become proud of all the work that you're doing because the end result right is the icing on the cake but it's just like we're not going to get that end result unless we work so that's usually what you hear when say like your team loses or whatever and the coach comes in they're like you should be proud of all the work that you've put in because it's the work that brings you the potential of winning or making the team or whatever because that stuff's out of our control so for you and everyone else I just want you to try to remember that and be like no matter what happens as long as I put in the work and I'm proud of the whatever I the practice and the hours that you put into it that like it's still deemed a success even though it's different than the desired outcome 